Yo, what's up, my brother? What's up, my sister? This is your boy, Oscar Nteke, again with yet another amazing video. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to make eyes pop in Photoshop. What do I mean? You're going to learn how to make eyes look more present in a portrait. This particular image was shot by a friend of mine called Derek of DreamX Photography. Actually, you can follow his YouTube channel. I'll leave the link of the link to his video in the oh what did i say i'll leave the link to his channel in the description below so that you can check him out and see some of his amazing work now what we're going to do in this video i'm going to show you how to make the eyes pop if you are a photographer and you have short black people people of color you realize that uh these cameras are not so good at rendering the different shades of brown in that the darker browns don't come out as vibrant as they are supposed to look like in actual sense if you're using a low-end camera. If you want to have these eyes really, really pop, you need something called like an eye lighter to illuminate the eyes even more, especially for headshots. But for shots that are far away, that are medium, medium shots we usually get these turning out to be black instead of being that dark brown that we that we really really have as dark colored people so what do we do about this in photoshop what you do you come this is an image we've been editing in series and i'll if you want to see how the skin was edited uh, i'll leave the link just up in the description there so that you see if you want to see how we whiten the eyes i'll still leave a link just up there so that you get to see how i did all these particular things so we are just going to create an adjustment layer right on top of this yeah okay what do we do there so you just come get your lasso tool just like that do not feather yeah and then just select all around this particular part of the eye like that you may be wondering why are you selecting it like a banana usually we have a black pupil there is a black pupil that you really the camera could not capture very well use there is a black pupil there and there is also a black pupil there you don't want to select the whole eye otherwise she may turn out to have an eye that doesn't have an a, a what a kind of monster alien eye that doesn't have a pupil so you come and add your selection by selecting this here and then you come and still select all around here like that of course you don't have to be the best artist to draw that stuff so you come here into adjustment layers right there and then you say curves yes and you're going to come and into the center of the curve here and then add more light to it but when you add more light to it you realize she gets the eyes become too white and yet we do the eyes are not really really white so what do we do about this you just come here and say you come into the reds yeah and then increase the reds just a little bit we are not going good we're now doing what they call color mixing the reds right there and then you come into the blues and put in a bit of yellows how do you where do you get the yellows the yellows are opposite of blue when you get onto the light color wheel so you just drop this down just a little bit like that and then the greens and maybe add in a bit of magenta by taking it a bit down just like that okay wait a minute now okay she looks like an alien right now but there is a simple trick i'm going to show you how we're going to do this you're going to come here into filter and then you say blah and then you say gaussian blah now you don't want to take it overboard yeah so what you do you just come and just slightly blur out the edges of the eye so that it blends in just like that okay so the last thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to get your brush tool here and then increase the hardness of the brush tool just like that yeah and then you come and uh, you make sure the brush tool is the size of the pupil and you're going to come and paint 
black over here by just clicking in the center so that you perfect the shape of the pupil same applies here you just come and do the same here and perfect the shape of the pupil and boom there you have it now when you look at it it is too brown and we need to put in a bit of uh, some kind of highlights into the eyes so what do we do okay let us create another adjustment layer that is going to help us create highlights for us okay let us just do this get curves and then there and we are going to name this highlights okay now you come and uh, just just only look at the eyes man just the eyes like that and then we are going to come and press Control i yes and get our brush tool and we are going to reduce it now this i like this 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 is like a catch light basically so what we come we come and paint over there with white just here click and paint white make sure this is inverted and then you click with white and still you come and do the same thing there so we're going to come again and then uh, create a new layer there then we get our white make sure white is selected and then we point it there and then we also point it there and then we come here and say soft light just like that so we are going to come create an adjustment layer just right next to it rather a layer mask just right next to it and then we come and paint with black over like that so that it doesn't go into the thing you know you may be wondering why doesn't it look like this because when you look at this particular image it is uh this this part is so far away from the light as compared to this so the intensity of the reflection in this would not be the same of the would not be the same intensity in this particular image that is why you see here the highlight is overly pronounced so look at this the before and that's the after this helps us create more presence into the eyes but when you look at it she's too brown the eyes are too too brown so what do we do about this we come here and reduce the opacity but before we reduce the opacity uh you have to consider the light and shadow element when you look at this particular image the eyelid casts a shadow over this eye so an indication the brown here cannot be the same as the brown here so what do we do you just come here and uh, get your brush tool and we're going to remove the hardness and then we're going to come and paint black just around this area so that we get that shadow of the eyelid cast over the brown same applies here see so that we don't have the whole eye brown the other thing you're going to do is just come select seal the eye and then reduce the opacity and then there you have it that is how you create more presence in the eyes i hope to see you in my next tutorial that's that for today and before you go if you want to buy me a cup of coffee click the link in the description below and i'll be super grateful and adios